are they becoming of an, a member of the executive? Yeah, Trevor, thank you so much uh, for this opportunity. And also let me join my colleagues in saying a number of things. One, we are not saying it because we do not like the current ad administration. We are saying it because there is a standard way of communication. Uh, the last time I knew when we were in cabinet, there is what Cecil Kariuki has said, collective responsibility. Collective responsibility to the extent of ensuring that you cover each other's tracks. But if you are minister in charge of, of a certain portfolio, that is the area that you need to concentrate. I would have expected this administration because they have seasoned people who know the government better uh, perhaps than me, to, for ministers not to be of zealous or commenting on issues that is not within their docket. That is a, more, a better way of communicating. In the sense that uh, if, let's say, you are in charge of a certain portfolio, you have the latitude of freedom to get information from your officers. So by the time you are making a statement, you are making on the basis of this is a position the government does understand. The second issue is uh, the challenge of trying to speak from all directions without coordinated effort. You would expect, like when we had the problem of blackout, when there was the issue of maize importation, when there was the problem of many things that have happened in this society, is that the cabinet is supposed to be a clearing house for any decisions that are made by the government and ministers will pronounce the position that has been cleared at the cabinet level. Yeah. For example, uh, if there is a matter to do with education, and affecting an institution within the Ministry of Agriculture and affecting dispersal of resources, a cabinet memo is prepared by the three ministers, yeah. Minister for Education, Minister for Agriculture, Minister for Finance, and at times internal security, yeah. because they may need coordination from internal security. So that when that position is taken, it is clear in the cabinet memo that who is going to take action. Yeah so that we know the action to be taken by the Minister of Finance is to seek resources for purposes of funding certain government projects. Okay. Minister for Agriculture is to let go the institution, for example, Puan Institute, yeah. Kabianga Institute, I had to let go as minister yeah. for purposes of ensuring that it goes now to the Ministry of Higher Education mm -hmm. as a, you know, a constituent college of one of the universities. And finally, that coordination is very important. And it is processed by the officers in the ministry. Yeah. Uh, so by the time it comes to the minister, it is clear. Okay. But the way I see the current administration, each minister wakes up in the morning, says anything as if they are talking about generally anything and everything within the government. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a quick break here when we come back. We're still talking about that. And also we'll focus on your questions as well at Trevor Mbidi at Citizen TV. Can you use the hashtag?